Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at downloading files off the internet using Node.js. So we're going to be using this library called Download to download files off the internet. I'm just going to be downloading an image of YouTube. It's a thumbnail and I'm picking this as the destination. So it will make a folder called this and within there it's going to make a file called uh, whatever the file name is. And then we do that then and then whenever that promise returns we'll then print done. This does not need to run in an instantly instantiated function, but some of the ones I'm going to be showing later does. So if you run it, you can see that we get this this folder with the image. So that's the first way of running it. You could obviously have specified any file here. You could have put a text file in here. Whatever file, just make sure it's a file so it ends with some kind of extension. The next way you can also run this function is that you can run it with asynchronous await. So you just await this same file. Then you can also write the file with fs if you, let's say you had to do some image manipulation of the file before you saved it. But this is gonna do the exact same thing. It's just gonna save it like that and there you go. This is very similar to the first one, but we're just using asynchronous await instead of using dot dense. So you can just see we are awaiting that. And once that's done, we're printing the message done. And that's just going to save the file. You can see it very, very fast. And it's just same. it just saved the same file. So you didn't see a change, but it's very, very fast. Now, the last thing we're going to be taking a look at is options. So you can put in options and we're also going to actually be downloading a, an entire get repo and then extracting it once we're downloading it. So this is a get repo. So the way you get this is just by going on whatever repository you want. And then you can see this download button, download the file. And when you have downloaded the file, you can just go downloads or whatever browser and you can actually just see the link here and you, you can just copy that. But else the structure is just the, your username, the repository and then whatever branch you're on. We're going to be saving it in the this folder and upon downloading the file we're going to extract it. You could also have, have passed in another property called file name in this object here. So just like that and then file name and then whatever the file name would be if you wanted a custom name. You can also have done this with the other way to this but let's try running this. And it's a bit slower because it has to extract it, but you can see that it downloads the entire repository and you can see all the files within. And if we didn't have this, so by default it would be false, so we can just try setting it to false, you can see that it will download a zip file. And you could obviously have extracted that yourself, but this can actually do it automatically. The library is right here, it's on npm, it has quite a lot of downloads and it's a pretty good library for downloading stuff. So you can see here, they also include a few examples here. So I, that was really all uh, I had to show today. It was pretty simple. Downloading stuff off the internet is not that difficult in Node. I hope you learned something. Hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!